And welcome and thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Kevin Ogle. And I'm Heather Holman. Heavy rains causing a muddy mess on rural roads in Logan County. Rescue crews even finding themselves stuck while trying to help with a medical emergency. News Force Jacqueline Chappell has more on how they were finally able to get everyone free. Just down this muddy road, a medical call taking a turn for the worse when an ambulance got stuck in the mud. Guthrie Fire telling us these Logan County roads simply aren't safe. You stay home, you know, if you can. Rural roads across Logan County left looking like this. Deep ruts and in some places unpassable water pooling across the road. This is part of, part of Guthrie life. We knew we were going to be in for a, a good week of uh, probably fairly difficult rescue operations if people were to get stranded. And that's just what happened here near Triplet Road in Santa Fe. The Guthrie Fire Department, as well as the Sheriff's Office and others, working to rescue not just this ambulance, but the person it was trying to reach. A gentleman was moving his family member from the Dell City area to Missouri and his GPS took him on a wild goose chase. He uh, made about half a mile down the road and was. Uh, Become stuck in the mud and could not move. Uh, ended up sitting there for uh, almost 26 hours uh, before he called 911 due to a medical emergency he was having. The man choosing to stay with his belongings after getting stuck, fearing his stuff may get stolen. His pickup and U-Haul trailer, as well as the county sheriff's unit and our ambulance, were all stuck. Taking nearly four hours before everyone was free from the mud. But those who live nearby say roads are expected to get like this after a lot of rain. You just stay away from dirt roads and try to stay on the pavement. And, but say? I mean, if you have to go on a dirt road, you have to. I implore people not to drive on these roads if you don't have a good reason to. In Logan County, Jacqueline Chapel, Oklahoma's News Four. And the man who called 911 was treated at the scene and did not need to be taken to the hospital. The fire department is still asking anyone who doesn't need to drive on those muddy and flooded roadways to stay away. They say it could take up to a week before they dry out.